everybody, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for coming back. So right now I'm completely barefaced because I wanted to speak to you guys about a product. And this is actually something very, very new to me. I one of my co-workers actually told me about it because I was just like, you know what? I have a lot of like little tiny, um, I just have tiny, tiny bumps. And basically what it is, it's clogged pores. Just because I do wash my face, I do cleanse, I do take off my makeup before I go to bed, I do all of that stuff. But um, I guess because I do wear makeup every day, like there's just gunk under there that just needs to come out. Just, so it's just problematic skin basically is what it is and um, what I have. So if you guys find that you're breaking out or you have these little tiny bumps or you're something of that nature and you want to just clean out your face, unclog your pores, you can, have, you can use this if you have problematic skin. You can use it if you have normal skin. Whatever the case may be, it just helps to unclog your pores. So this is what it is and this is what I'm talking about. It is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. Now I'm so excited to try this. Um, it says it, it pulsates, like you can feel your face pulsating. It's great for facials, for acne, body wraps, clay baths, foot soaks, chilled clay for knee packs and insect bites. All of these different things from this little um, container so basically what it is it's not like a just a mask you just kind of take out it's actually a powder that you have to mix with something so you can either mix it with raw apple cider vinegar which is exactly what I'm gonna mix it with or you can mix it with water I've heard that though with the raw apple cider vinegar it kind of works a little bit better um especially this brand brag um so we'll see about that um I got these both from the vitamin shop. I found a vitamin shop nearest me and I got it. You can also get it from, I believe, walgreens.com on the website. They don't sell it in the stores, they sell it on the website. Um, and Amazon, I believe, has it. And I think those are mainly the places that I've seen it at. So this um, is exciting for me. It's a calcium bentonite clay, 100% natural. So let me tell you a little bit of history behind this. Um, I have the website pulled up here, so it was actually interesting reading about it. What is it saying? It's saying a bunch of these like, like chemistry things that's giving me anxiety because I completely like almost failed chemistry. So just... The healing clay has negative electron charges, like and... all the poisons and toxins stored in the epidermis. That's not very reassuring about my face right now. But anyways, our face has like a positive charge like underneath the in the deeper in the skin this has a negative charge so when they kind of counter react it just kind of pulls like sort of like a magnet pulls out everything from your skin and it gets it into the clay and they take it off so that's the way it works it just kind of pulls everything out of your skin and it's cool because when it dries it dries really hard so you can really feel it it adds the the it because it is drying and it is pulsating, it's pulling up and it's pulling the blood, like um, the blood from your face, like up. So it's adding the circulation, it's getting everything moving. So it just is just like, like when you just think about it, like you're just like, oh my god, this is actually working. Like it's not just things you're putting on your face, it's actually pulling it out and it makes complete sense. It has so over 50 minerals inside, it's a hundred percent natural. So I'm gonna use this ceramic bowl I got from like the 99 cent store. Um, I'm going to use to mix and apply my Real Techniques foundation brushes. Like I don't use these brushes to apply foundation, it's just kind of like one of those pile brushes, but I am gonna use it to go ahead and mix and then apply it onto my face. I also have this little cup that I got in like my bleaching kit. Um, this just goes up to two tablespoons, so this is gonna be awesome just to kind of measure out everything. Um, so if you guys have one of those, that would be it's good. Like two tablespoons of it. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into my bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the raw apple cider vinegar. Ew! It smells gross. If you can hear and see that fizzing right there. You want to really mix it up, so this is what it looks like. It's just a really smooth paste. So now that I have my hair up, I'm going to go ahead and start applying this. Ah, it's cold. Covered my entire face and it's a pretty pretty thick layer 
I don't know how if I want to cover like I don't know how long this is gonna take to dry it's probably gonna take like an hour to dry so I will let this sit and dry for a bit I'm gonna go clean all my little tools up and then I'll come back and tell you guys how I feel um and yeah hopefully this is not too painful I heard like you're really really hard as you cannot move at all so I'm very nervous we'll see how this goes I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey everybody, so I'm finished. My face feels super duper tight. I called my friend, she made me laugh. It was all cracky, but it actually kind of hurts right here. Um, I think it's because it's so hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and I'll be right back and show you guys how it is. Um, but yeah, it kind of hurts. I didn't really feel it pulsing that much, but I'll tell you guys when I get back. I finally finished the mask and it was pretty good. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I really, really do like how it um, had my face feeling. It was kind of like, it was really tight. And I mean, I, my friend made me laugh, so I was like, kind of like laughing and my face was moving, so it was kind of cracking. But at the same time, it was like really like, I could feel it pulling out at my skin, which is cool. Um, I didn't really feel the pulsating so much um not too so much i don't know if i put on like a lot or if i didn't put on enough or what the case was but i didn't really feel it like pulsating like like when you like listen to your pulse like it wasn't going like that i don't know maybe i just wasn't paying attention that much i mean i didn't really feel it i feel like if i had like felt something really drastic i think i was expecting something a little bit more drastic but I don't know, it was pretty good. I actually, I really do like um, it. It was kind of a bit difficult to take off. Like when you wet it, it wasn't like kind of like getting super duper soft right away. It, you actually had to like um, go over and over and over again. It took about like maybe five minutes to take off the mask. But I mean, I guess it was good. It was really like sucking out everything from your skin. So it was pretty cool. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, it's very, very cheap. So I say, why the heck not? Um... This and this came up to like $10. Uh, I believe this was like 3 so this was probably like 7 ish um, I don't know if there's a smaller size. I think this is the smallest size and then there's a bigger size, I believe. I'm not too sure. When I went, it was only this one there. But yeah, um, together $10 for a mask that will last you a good, a good amount of time. Like this mask, I feel like, will last you maybe like 6 months, a year. Because like how often are you going to really do it? But, um, yeah, definitely. I would definitely suggest trying it out. Um, I really do like how my face feels. I will give you guys updates and see if my, my breakouts clear up or my skin gets a lot better. Um, just after trying this, like, during this week. Um, I'll let you know that on my Instagram. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any other questions, let me know down below. See you guys later.